So hi guys, today we're going to see how to deploy a simple Docker image in a Kubernetes. I'm not going to go dive deep in, I'm just going to make it a two simple step process where you can just, where you can take an image, eight pods and deployment with it and create a service and then that's about it, you can keep your apps up and running. So in order to do that, I'm going to need a mini Kube dashboard so I can see it very visually. So mini cool dashboard so it's over here so let the mini group dashboard keep running i'm going to play, open a new tab so here are the tabs up until this point there's no pods or anything running right now so what we need to do is first you have to have an image so you can use docker image or any other container platforms you're using so i'm going to use docker so reverse of backend is just a simple image which returns a JSON file. I've put it inside a container and built it. But that's about all I did. I'm gonna keep it in a local host because I wanna build an image and deploy it in a cluster with the image which is available in the local host app. I don't wanna go through a hassle of building an image and then pushing it to the Docker Hub and then pulling it again in the Kubernetes cluster. I'm just gonna do everything locally. It was easier back then when we could just pass in some parameters but it's not seem to work right now. So I found a neat little trick to get around it. So let's go ahead and create a deployment. I'm gonna create an alias because my versions are pretty messed up. So I need to run mini coop, coop control every time I wanna use coop control. So that so don't get confused when I'm using MK. MK is just coop control. Just keep that in mind. Then MK create deployment app reverser. I'm gonna use an image called reverser backend to me backend latest stack. But then it's not in any of the repositories online, it's completely in local, but uh, Kubernetes, Kubernetes doesn't know that it is present in local file. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a deployment which will in turn create some pods and some replica sets. But I haven't mentioned any replica numbers, so I'm gonna just keep it one for now. You can go ahead and change it if you want. So that will be an error, do not worry about that. You just gotta go into this. Okay, go to deployments first. And then go go and edit this. So in line 110, I believe, somewhere around that. 110, yeah. That'll be a line called image pull policy. It'll be always set to always by default. You gotta change it to never or if not present. So I'm gonna change it to never for now. Date it, yeah. So once you change it to never, all you have to do is just sit back and wait for a couple of seconds. See, that's about it. It took me like five seconds max, and then app browser is ready. So once we created the deployments, we need a service. I'm gonna use a load balancer right now and expose the deployments to a stable IP so that we could tap into it and check it. So now we gotta expose it. This is the line. I'm gonna write a complete entire article about it in Medium. I'm gonna keep it in the link below. So don't worry about all the commands over here right now. So once it's been exposed, you can go into services and then go check it out. So it'll be built. So all you gotta do right now is if you're using Miniku, Miniku service app reverser, it automatically like host the like port to your system. But then it's basically a simple process like it'll it'll, it'll return a, your service name and its port its target port and its URL. So that's about it. Everything is running locally. Nothing, we didn't involve any outside online things. So this is just to get you started with Kubernetes. I'm not trying to tell you do not learn it in a declarative way. You absolutely have to. But then in order to get it, getting started, this would be a wonderful way to understand the ins and outs of Kubernetes. So all the best for that. That's about it. See you next time.